Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we are in the truck series here at Texas. We are car number 10 of 22. Got a lot of fast people in here. Hopefully we can just have a pretty clean race for the most part. That's all I'm hoping for. These cars are like super loose on new tires. I don't know how they are once the tires get worn in some. But fastest I've gotten to is like a 567. Something like that. I think a 567. The fastest guy in my last practice was like a 520. But car is super loose. You got to be real careful with it. Second lap will probably be your faster one, I would imagine, because you just have more speed coming into the line, even running the top side in this first lap. It just gets super loose on exit of both corners. Well, three and four kind of get loose on, through the middle. But I kind of dive bomb into here, just let off, get it to turn some, get on throttle some. And then try to exit low because i remember from the arca race we did exiting low is a lot of a lot faster this corner i try to full throttle but can't completely because i get loose trying to full throttle completely so i let off slightly on entrance you just gotta manage the uh wheel 806 okay looking to improve on that It is loose. Definitely had a little bit more speed coming in, but I felt slower through one and two there. I changed my steering ratio to 14 to one. We're hitting the apron. That's not going to help anything. Um, I changed my stereo steering ratio to 14 to one to try to help it being from being too loose. Helps a little bit. Second lap was a 735. Okay, so at least we improved a little bit, but not nearly where i wanted to be i wanted to be like low sixes at least but did not have a great qualifying time so we'll probably be pretty far back in the pack to start with because if i could have ran my fastest time it was a five like 67 so i could have been third currently or at least just a low six which i would have been happy with but got a little loose on the second lap and threw one and two slightly and then clipped the apron in three and four which didn't help anything so we're gonna be starting pretty deep in the field and i'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green flag All right, we fell back to 13th, which kind of sucks. A lot of the faster guys are going to be up in front of us anyways. They qualify. Dang, a 406. I didn't realize the times they were getting. They are flying up there. I don't even know how you get down to the fours unless you, like, flat foot the entire track. I don't know how you do that, though. That's impressive. <laughs> I haven't seen into the fours yet. That's really fast. So I'm just going to do the best we can. Hopefully, we can finish with a top 10 here. Try not to end up in a wreck early on, but as far as I've heard, these races have been quite clean, surprisingly. Like, this track configuration is not the greatest, but apparently it's been clean racing, which is nice. So, uh, tire wear might come into effect in this race then, if that's the case. Might have to worry about your front right or your right rear also getting loose. Try not to destroy ourselves early on, take ourselves out. Probably take it easy the first few laps to try not to take ourselves out. Or if other people are getting loose in it. <laughs> but we'll see how this goes. But I'm excited for, in a couple days, the new World of Outlaw slash, like, iRacing game, the World of Outlaw Dirt Racing game coming out for console. I'm going to be playing that and posting some videos on that. Hopefully, right on Tuesday, I'll post one, and then I'm going to start doing the uh, career mode after that. So if you guys are excited for that, or if you guys are just you thinking about you, getting it, but you want to see thought, videos right. about it, I'll definitely have some out. Run. But I'm excited for that game. Haven't been really excited for a console game in a long time. I haven't really even played console in a long time either. I've just been doing iRacing for the longest time up, now. <laughs> so hopefully it's a good game. From what I saw a couple videos from like Jeff Fabiano, I don't know how to say his last name, but uh, the guy that was able to do some videos on it. It looks pretty good. I like the career mode, how you start out with real bad uh, equipment and you have to work up by just buying more pieces and stuff, like buying new pieces and everything like that. I like that kind of uh, racing game. It, it really intrigues me. So hopefully the, the career mode will be pretty good. I'll probably be doing it on controller because doing console games on a wheel is weird to me. I'll most likely be doing it on a controller unless I decide to try to hook my wheel up to it. 
but I really don't want to go through all that hassle either. But let's get ready for this race. 40 laps, there are cautions. We will see if we get any. Probably will early on, I imagine, and people might take it easy after that. Well, we have two sets of tires. But if we go green to the end, that would be absolutely crazy. Don't see it going green all the way to the end, but hopefully it goes decent. At least get like one long run in it. Fly back in your seat there, bud. Give those belts a good tug. Get a look at look at your steering wheel. Because I don't think we ran Texas in like a truck or NASCAR in a while. Just the uh, Arca car like last season. Green flag, green flag. And Texas is also week 12 of Arca again this year. Like it's this same one, it's not the uh, legacy one. And all right, cool, we're three wide. Okay, we're four wide. We were definitely uh, four wide there because the 14 went super high there. I'm just sitting here trying to not dive bomb people and then I got everybody dive bombing us. Which you gotta expect it, at least the uh, turn one's wide enough for it. Oh, he got loose. He saved it though. Good job, 17, on saving that. These cars are so easy to uh, overcorrect. Could not get down to the bottom, which sucks. He overdrove the hell out of that. I was going to try to cross him back down, but he was pushing up so hard through that corner. I didn't want to sideswipe him. Watch for guys hitting the apron up there. Potentially, or getting loose on the exit. Everybody keeps it clean though. We lost a few spots, but that's okay. I figured we'd probably lose a couple spots off the start from a couple guys not qualifying. Yeah, 17's overdriving it real hard. He's gonna burn up that uh, front right. He's gonna eat it up. He's gonna be so slow in like 10 laps. I don't know if that's gonna make him real tight for three and four also, because three and four is nearly full throttle. Got a little loose there. That was scary. Have a little bit of gap behind us too, which is nice. People are taking a real wide arc in to turn one, which is really interesting. That might be a strat or something like try to save some tire. Not sure. But they're taking like a real wide arc in. Dang it, hit the apron. Bounce this up slightly so I don't let off to not get loose on throttle. But yeah, people are going like way the hell out here. Then letting off and diving down, it looks like. Which is really interesting. I guess you get a good run for the uh, back stretch, which seems like. Seems pretty good there. I guess just kind of using that banking in the corner to try to get like a good angle for the back stretch because you want to come off as low as you can really with speed they're catching me from behind some that lap that wasn't a great lap oh they're hitting the wall there it looks like they're all spreading out at least it looked like somebody smacked the wall from back here could be wrong but so far no caution yet oh I got loose I think I like barely clipped the apron and it started wanting to spin me the 18 has caught us now I think we'll get to the inside of the 17 here got a little loose there on exit not quite gonna get the run on them I thought we had a decent enough run that's unfortunate. Might have a runoff turn four here. Not much though. I thought we had a little bit more. Hopefully he overdrives it. They are about to wreck here in turn one. He saved it though, because it's so wide. Good save. Going by him on the outside. Got to his inside at least, so he's gonna have to give us the bottom at least. So we'll probably get by the 17 as long as I don't screw up here. I screwed up a little bit. Hit the apron, started getting me loose, had to get off throttle a little bit. The 18's following me on through by the 17. 
These guys are getting real aggressive up here. Clear, clear outside. Trying to conserve the front right as much as we can through one and two. Because three and four is not a whole lot you can do. You're kind of just flat putting it on the bottom for the most part, the best you can. But these guys are being super aggressive up here in this pack. Like we're up to 14th now, or yeah, we're up to 14th now. So we're almost back to where we started. We're just catching this pack a little bit who's been racing. 17 drove it real hard in there trying to get to our outside it looks like. 15's loose. 18 did not get by the 17 which is interesting. Trying to like get right on that white line but like not touch it. Like trying to get right over it. Oh, they're about to wreck. They touched on the tri oval there or the quad oval, whatever you want to call it. Green car went way high. Got on throttle a little early, pushed up. Cause I want to try Why to stay you low. You wreck? No clue what he just said. Just keep getting slightly low there in three and four. But it's been a good race so far. We're already 11 going on 12 laps now. Nobody's wrecked. There's been a couple close calls. But everybody is taking it easy for the most part. Or just keeping it straight for the most part. Not really taking it easy, I wouldn't say. We're loose there. Oh, God. What is going on? I saw somebody jump down and go back up. Oh, they're touching up there. Oh, 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 oh. Stay on the bottom. Jeez, how are they not wrecking? Ryan, you're a fucking dick. Every great time. How did they not wreck there? Somebody got put in the wall. That saved them from spinning. And then two guys hit each other there in the corner. And I don't know how they didn't spin. How was that possible? I think we got all the way up to 11th there from that. That's hilarious. We got by three people there from going into turn three to the start finish line, which is nuts. I just tried to stay as low as I could and I let off a lot because I thought they were going to wreck coming back down the track but We have a huge gap behind us now, which is great. I don't know where the 17 went Because the 17 was the one behind us, but the 18 is now by him three cars back Don't know if we have saved any tire compared to other guys yet at all. They're only on lap 14, but If we get a caution everybody's definitely coming to get tires But definitely be careful with the steering wheel through these corners because that will get you into a lot of trouble getting you loose and stuff 22 car is starting to fly back up on us he is very fast i don't know if he's one that we just got by or he was one that was behind that just took advantage of all that and he is flying up here i don't know because i didn't really i don't i didn't really see what numbers we got by there with all that commotion happening Good run here on the 15. Going to be able to get to his inside there before turn one. Use the brake some. Try to get down to the bottom. Pinching us way down. Wasn't able to get on throttle too hard there, but a lot of side draft it seemed like. Should still be inside of him for three and four, which should be good. As long as I don't hit the apron. I hit the apron. My bad, hit the apron. Oh, good. Luckily, it didn't, it didn't hit him too hard or anything. I think we just barely tapped doors. Clear, 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 clear. Gonna try to slide up here. Take away the momentum. See, I can get a good enough run on us? No? Okay, cool. That put us up 10th now. Awesome. So we started 13th, fell back to 16th, and we're all the way up back up to 10th. Or yeah, we're gonna be 10th crossing the line here. And the eight car seems like he is struggling there. He is very loose. And we got a caution, okay. That's gonna change everything. Caution just about halfway. We'll be going green just after halfway at least. Everybody's gonna come take their tires. But we're up to 10th, which is awesome. 
The eight car, I think, got bailed. Oh, no, maybe not. I think the eight car just got passed before the uh, caution came out. So he's back to ninth. But that caution, I think, saved him a good bit. Uh, and uh, we were pretty far off the leader, but there was a lot going on back here. So we're going to come in, take tires next time by, and I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green. We'll see where we're at. All right. Well, we fell one spot in the pits, but honestly, it's probably a better thing because I'd rather start on the bottom than the top. So at least I know if there's one person that dove inside. But we're going to do our best in this restart. I think I'm actually going to go down the first gear when we're about to go to try to get a little bit better of a launch this time. Because that may have been why the guy behind me was able to get to our inside so quickly. Just have to be careful and not spin the tires. Which I think we'll be okay with it for the most part. The only thing is you have to shift so quick. It's kind of like, I don't know if it's worth it in the long run of it, but it might be. We'll see. But we're in 11th. I'm okay with that. We didn't have a very good start on the last one. Hopefully cautions don't bring more cautions because that was a great like first run. If we get the same run here, it'd take us to the finish. And hopefully we don't lose as many spots on this one. I'm going to try to be a little bit more aggressive. Our tires were all right. There are 88 on the front, 89 back, and then 96, 95 on the uh, lefts. So I think I can be a little bit more aggressive. We have a little, like, few couple laps, laps, I would say. So we'll see how this goes. It's pretty much almost the same run. But try not to overdrive it still in the beginning on cold tires. Can't see anything, which sucks. Yeah, I don't think that worked out great for me. <laughs> like having to shift so fast. Could just maxed out on the RPMs real quick. But the 18 still are outside. I know the 22 got by us in the pits, and I think one other guy did too. But we passed somebody. Unless it was just like they crossed the line later. From the start finish line in the pits, I don't know. Try not to slide up into the 18 here. He's giving us a good around amount of room though. We're fine. Get a good run up there. It's just sketchy being underneath somebody on these cold tires. I do not like it. Try not to dive it too hard to get loose. Mainly it's loose when I get on throttle and, and hitting the gas and uh, turning, I mean. Like the 15 there got loose. He's gonna give us the top, which makes sense. But I'd rather have to run on somebody's outside and inside a little bit in three and four. So now I don't have to worry about hitting the apron. I just have to worry about somebody else doing it, which is uh, scarier. Try to pinch him down if we can. Try to get a good run here off two. Didn't really pinch him well, but it's still got a decent run. Okay, he backed out of that. That's fine. It seemed like uh, the half lane higher like we were. You can kind of keep it a little bit full throttle more. All right, let's see if we can catch these guys back. Try to get back in the groove of things in one and two. Because I had to run the outside there, which was different. four cars behind us which I don't know if he was to start with I think he might have been a part of all that stuff that happened he might have been the one that we passed on pit road instead uh, instead of going back to 12th because if he had some damage to get fixed kind of got off throttle a little late there but I think I made it work decent I got a decent gap behind me but I also have a lot of a gap in front of me trying to catch the group in front just gotta not wreck ourselves but the tires are getting to the point where they're not as loose as they are on the start we're in our fastest lap of 760 which isn't too fast but race pace that's all right overdrove that a little bit got on throttle a little early which I'm not trying to do so I feel like we saved the front right decently on that first run. And we were getting by some people there late in that run. But that also could have been because of all the commotion that was going on. Everybody hitting each other. Which I don't know how anybody, nobody wrecked when they were right in front of us. That was crazy. 
This race is kind of going like I've heard, like pretty solid racing, but it's Texas. Everybody kind of hates this place. I hate this place too. I, I love the old configuration. The old configuration was so much better to me. That The old configuration Texas is my only uh, truck win I have on iRacing, which is uh, funny enough. I have like a league win at Kansas, but I, I'm just talking about like official racing. My only official win in a truck is at the old Texas. So I really like that place. Starting to get a little bit of more of a gap behind us. I don't know if the four car and the 15 are one way to battling. Pass, they might be slightly or the 15 might be holding them up a little bit. But they're kind of pulling away in front of me too slightly. I don't know how I'm pulling away from the guys behind. I would I would have thought their draft would push them a little bit quicker down the straights. And I feel like that's why I'm falling off of this pack in front of me. But the 18's starting to fall off the pack too. A little bit. He's like four tenths off of them. Oh, got loose on the entrance. It like shot me straight down to the apron. That was sketchy. I turned in a little bit too hard there. Which I really didn't do much of a motion, but it, it got like back in loose going into turn three. It's very weird. Hopefully on the uh, longer run like last time we could start catching them, but we only got about eight laps, nine laps left here. I'm happy I got the gap behind me that I do, but the four car now is around the 15. So I imagine he'll start to catch us. Somebody's blinking really yeah, bad my game is glitching. What the hell? Oh, is that Justin? That's not good. Oh, that was Justin. Rip. He's probably streaming and stuff, and something just happened to his car. He just went, like, all the way up to the wall and then all the way back down. That was really odd. Really unfortunate for him. I don't. Th I never really see him have any problems. But it seems like he's back and stable now. Okay, we got a little bit more of a gap on the four car. That's good. Thought he would start catching us pretty quick. But I'd like to get a top 10, so if I can get back up there around Justin, that'd be awesome. I don't know if I will be able to though. Maybe being behind him, I can learn a little bit, see his line a little. I think I'm close enough. I can probably see like the fire off the side of the car. Don't know his exact throttle inputs, but I think I was, I did decent there. I feel like I'm okay in one and two. It's three and four that I feel like I'm slowing for some reason. Cause maybe you just have to full throttle it and send it but it is loose like that geez luckily it didn't like catch and overcorrect or anything it didn't really slow me down either too much oh got off off throttle a little late missed the bottom bad bad corner really missed the apex of one and two Okay, luckily, oh, the 20 car has gotten around the four now. Wow, I don't know if the, the four car like burnt out his tires or something. Maybe he was running the top side, destroyed his front right or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's not looking likely for a top 10 now, but we are car 10. Being 11th isn't bad. That's probably one. Five more laps. Oh yeah, I knew you were faster. Just going to let you go. 20 car yeah, is quick right. right now compared to him. Okay, we'll see if we keep pulling away or not. I missed the apex and one and two again. Really don't want a green white checker or anything. We're we're gonna we would have to come get tires. Like you'd be a sitting duck at that point. I don't mind when it's Maybe take two tires. Get, Might be a strat. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it or not. Or if it'd be super loose. It honestly could be real real loose taking two tires. But hell, if it came down to a green-white checkered, I think a lot of people would be thinking of taking two. Because my my left sides were not that bad on that long run, so... I I think I would take two. If we get that. Gain some spots out of it, and maybe there'll be a quick yellow. And one. People taking it like four wide and stuff. And we can gain a few spots out of it, potentially. Yeah, 20 car is catching us. I don't know if he'll have time, though, is the thing. If I can just oh, hit my... Oh. oh, God. That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good. I do not want to take two tires is my thing. I don't want to get in that situation. <laughs> Thank God there was no caution. I don't want it to get into that situation. 
because I feel like I'll end up in a huge wreck. It is so loose to three and four. They're real battling in, in front of us now, really battling up there. There was a lot of smoke there, so shocking there is no caution if somebody like spun all the way around and stuff. Keep barely missing the apex down there. If we can get around one more time, then they can all start wrecking. The 20 car doesn't have time to get to us. Oh God. Who was that, the 22 threw it in on the 18? Oh, there goes a 22, but the leaders are taking the uh, white flag. That's going to get us up to 10th. Let's go. I'll take that top 10. He, he went hard trying to get by the uh, 18 there. I just got to take it easy this last lap and not spin ourselves, and maybe we'll get another one out of this. People trying to get everything they can in three and four. But a one caution race, I'm happy about that. That's a fun race. We just got to not wreck ourselves here. Just taking it easy. Good win, Evan. Great father, Ryan. Evan won. Good race. Good, good run race by him. 13, I'll take I'll take 10th, though. We're a car 10. Should Jesus gain some iron right now. That. Four. What are you doing? Not sure what happened to Justin there. He Back might be in the uh, incident good thing good, from good, glitching good, and every stuff all over the place. Because I think he saw it happen and he guys. just got down out of the way. I appreciate it. But good I win by three. For that one. I'm happy we gained spots out of that. That was great. Like, it's hard to gain spots in this kind of race with the caliber of drivers we had, so. But it was a fun race. Happy with the result as well, because uh, we started 13th, fell down the 16th early, and then slowly got back up to 10th before the caution caution came out, and then, like, this start was crazy. Hang on. We got we got to see this start, because the 6 had a great jump. Where did the 6 finish? I know he was fast. He finished up in 3rd. He just didn't qualify. So he had a good jump. He was probably in first or something on the start. Got to our inside, and then the 11 was on our outside. The 14 went so wide. We were four wide there, so I just was going slow through the corner. Not sure exactly how the tires were going to grip up because we were at slow speeds and stuff, so I had a decent amount of grip, but that is absolutely crazy. I mean, four wide to start the race, basically, because it was about right there where I backed out of it a little bit, but that's kind of uh, cool all together because you don't get that much at a lot of tracks so good racing and let's go see what these incidents were lap three 15 gonna get in the wall slightly yeah i think it's just barely net coating the wall down the back six skeins doing the same thing like a little bit of swerving it's only lap seven the 16 the six car is all the way up there in eighth he gets in the wall off of turn four but he's up to seventh now Already going in the lap eight, the six cars in eighth. Like he was flying. Ooh, big net code. Big net code there. That was weird. They should not have touched at all. Like they had room. It was just barely tapped him and it pushed him down into the four. And then all, I don't know what all happened to the 16. This is where I thought they were going to wreck because we ended up going by it not too long after. We were behind the 15, maybe? Oh, no, behind the 17. Yeah, that's when we were behind the 17 for a while. But it was a good save altogether. 12, barely tapping the wall there and then got loose, came down on the four slightly. Ooh, the four is all over the place right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he definitely, he's definitely one we passed on pit road unless he ended up, he got tapped by the eight there. Got him loose. Jeez, that was uh, very close. Then tapped by the 12, eight car kind of ran a little high there. Oh yeah, geez, this was a lot that went on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So much happened here. So the 12 car, like, they they clip together. I don't know what the four was doing. I don't know if he just turned straight left. It kind of looks like it because I thought he had control of his car. Actually, he was still kind of sliding. He was still, like, in mid-slide, and it just really hooked left right there. Unfortunate for the 12. And then who else was it? The nine, the four and the nine. I thought they were wrecking here the big net code, but they definitely hit and I was just on the bottom putting around trying to hope that they didn't come back down But that was crazy altogether. I was shocked. There was no caution there and four cars started coming back down 17 clipped the grass then him That's what happened to the 17. He fell so far back from that 15 got the wall slightly. This is where we're on the inside of the 15 and that's where I clipped the apron some and luckily it didn't really get him like I barely hit the apron it just shot me straight up I got off the gas and 
as much as I could. And luckily, it just barely tapped him in the side and didn't wreck him. I'm very happy with that. Eight car into the wall. He's probably going to get in the wall going in the one as well. No? Okay, I don't know what that was about. Maybe clipping the grass. This is uh, when 22. I, this was behind me. I didn't see any of this. 22 is blocking the 18's run a little bit, but he didn't really show his nose down there. Oh, this was the caution. 19 just got the apron. He hit the apron like just after the apex or just at the apex and it got him up the track, got him loose. The 16 didn't check up quick enough. And that's going to cause the uh, caution. And then it went green to the end. And I want to see what happened that people were like, there was no caution. Because apparently there was really close to being one. Seven and who is that? The 13? Running real hard. I don't think the 13 appreciated getting uh, bumped in the rear end. Oh, this is what happened to Justin. He blinked really bad. And then he ended up back in the middle of these guys. So he was probably freaking out. The two car went flying through him too. So he just got down out of the way, which was smart. There, was a, there could have been a huge wreck there. Weird glitch. Weird, weird uh, lag blinking glitch for Justin there. I haven't really seen it to where people started driving through his car. Usually, when something like that happens, the guy that's getting driven through gets spun out. So he's very lucky he didn't get spun out and wrecked. Oh, and that's a huge net code between the 21 and 16, which the 16 had some big net code issue with the four earlier too. So I don't know, where's the uh, 16 from? Let's see, he's from France. That might be why he probably had like a pretty high ping compared to a lot of us in America and uh, like UK uh, 12 car um and brazil in the 21 so they just had a big net code issue because brazil and france like they probably their ping was probably pretty high so that should not have really happened i don't think the 16 was gonna hit him but that spun him all the way around but it's at the very back of the field blew his engine but uh he just kept going straight so never never really got a caution out of it the 13 was falling off really hard there towards the end of this race he finished back in fifth but he was up to second at one point Two car driving really hard here. Two laps to go. Scrapes the wall, but still kept up his momentum. Just barely tapped it with the right rear. Five car and 13 pushing it here. Two laps to go. Might have net code tapped. And 22 just got loose by himself, which he might have gotten a uh, black flag. Where did he finish? Oh, yeah, he finished in 14th. So actually, no, maybe he didn't get a black flag. I thought, oh, he didn't cross this line. That's what it was. I thought the uh, first cone was the uh, pit lane, but it was not. Did he keep it out of pit road, though? It looks like he does. Last second. Oh, yeah. He, he just hits the cone, but he's, he's good. He kept it on track. It was very close, though. This was... Oh, geez. A-car nailed the wall there. They were all wrecking. This was behind me, for sure. Yeah, that was behind me. The A-car got glitched into the wall and sent backwards. <laughs> that was weird. That's a weird glitch. And a couple guy, one guy ended up flipped. He got nailed again. The 14 car went for a ride and stuck in the fence he didn't even get across the finish line that sucks so he ended up a lap down the eight car left it and uh could have probably finished a, a spot ahead but that's a big wreck there at the end to finish it and the three car won it so good run good win by him good run by everybody that was a lot of fun we finished 10th which i'll take uh had a terrible qualifying time i think i could have qualified a little bit better but uh, i just messed up my qualifying and started really deep in the field but uh luckily we we're able to gain some spots after losing a bunch in the start of it so should gain some my rating being car number 10 also. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, results in strength of field just under 3,300. Only had one caution. There was a bunch of splits. It was top split, obviously. I, I knew that because of uh, Justin being in here. He has some real high rating, but he lost a bunch finishing ninth, unfortunately, with his weird lag uh, that happened to him. And he just backed out of it and everything. But we finished 10th. I'll take 17 out of that and some safety because we ended up with a 0x. Only the three car had a 2x up front. Maybe he smacked the wall too hard at one point. Maybe last lap. Or no. No, I don't know when he got the 2x actually. It wouldn't be from the celebration or anything. But good race by everybody. Keeping it clean. Uh, they had 10x in the back. 9x. How the hell did you guys do that? That's kind of crazy. I guess they hit hard a couple times and everybody saved it. But they got the 4x for uh, hitting each other. That was That's nuts. But uh, I'm happy with where we finished. Luckily, was able to gain some spots. I thought we were going to struggle this race some. But luckily, it got kind of to like uh, a little bit of a long run. Not too long, though. Under 20 laps on both runs. I think it was about 18, 17 laps for both of the runs that we did. And uh, had some speed there uh, once the tires started falling off a little bit. The second run, not as much. I think I burnt out my uh, front right a little bit more. 
trying to push it on the beginning on cold tires but it is what it is i i held my spot at least well actually i gained a spot because i started 11th on the uh, restart so got up to 10th i'm happy about that only because the uh 22 lost it coming off turn four with two lap with the uh, one lap to go like coming onto the white flag so we got lucky there wouldn't have finished top 10 but i'll take it anything to uh take a top 10 in that because uh that was a strong field of guys so very happy with that hopefully you guys enjoyed the racing appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one